What's up everybody and welcome back in another video of Diorama Builders and today we are going to do the unboxing and reviewing the new Air Viper airbrush from uh, Ammo by uh, Mick Geminis. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly but so this is their latest model the previous model was the Cobra this is the Air Viper and this one has a 0.2 needle by default so the box uh, is already looking uh, yeah, kind of neat. It looks like the airbrush can take on heavy duty paints. It's uh, aluminum, uh, very yeah, well crafted. And here on the side flip, you have some uh, specs. Let's take a closer look at it. So the specs are, it's a double action airbrush, of course. Uh, most of the airbrushes nowadays are double action airbrush uh, it has a 0 0.2 uh, nozzle needle it got a 1.8 milliliter paint cup which is uh, plenty for the common uh, modeler you got some uh, teflons seals which is uh, especially good if you are using lacquer paints and of course uh, it will last longer <laughs> as it mentioned long life material components it also has a reversible spear tips for better airbrush performance and easy cleaning while in use. This is something, of course, that I'm looking forward to because if you do a fine detail, you always end up with uh, dried paint uh, blocking the needle. And this airbrush can be used for uh, yeah, acrylics, enamel, lacquers, ink, dyes, erythrins, and so on. So let's uh, crack this open and see what's in there. So you have the manual here which comes in uh, different languages which is uh, pretty neat. I'm going to have a look at the Dutch uh, manual. I'm from Belgium, I'm uh, speaking Flemish. Here you have some uh, uh, specifications about all the parts, how to use it, some tips and tricks. Yeah, very valuable information. So here you have uh, your nozzle wrench which you use to remove the uh, nozzle, of course. And here you have the yeah, very nice looking airbrush. You have the logo engraved there, the Air Viper 0.2. Yeah, it's a uh, beautiful looking airbrush with the gold and the chrome, which works, uh, yeah, good together just fine. It's very eye appealing. Uh, and as I said, it reminds me of a Badger airbrush. Here you have a uh, plastic uh, nozzle cover which protects the needle. Here you have your plastic uh, seal cup with your 1.8 milliliter uh, cup. First thing I notice is of course the well thought needle guard cap that you have here which you can remove and put on in reverse but I wouldn't suggest that because if you drop your um, airbrush it could damage the needle and also the airflow that comes out is not uh, hindered or bothered by uh, some other closed needle caps that you have and here you have your uh, dual action trigger with some dents you can uh, yeah push it uh, back and forth you push it down to let the air out and you pull it back uh, for the paint to come out and it responds uh, very smooth on the back you have uh, yeah the limiter which controls how far back you can uh, pull the trigger if you tighten it you see that this is closing and you cannot pull it back as far which is great for uh, yeah fine details fine lines so for repeatable uh, consistent things this is uh, great yeah very nice looking uh, airbrush it feels good in the hand it's very well balanced so the next step of course is to load up some paint and see how everything works so here we have a printed uh, part that i'm not going to use anymore which is perfectly for uh, testing. Here we have a black primer. It's uh, also created by uh, Ammo Mig. I got my airbrush connected to the uh, compressor. So we are going to uh, fill the cup with this black primer. 
So let's uh, prime this. Uh, this is an arm piece for those who might wonder what it is. This is an, um, the upper left arm of the classic Iron Man. So let's go ahead and uh, put on the black primer. It's always best to put on several light coats instead of one or two uh, thick coats because you might end up uh, covering or hiding some um, details. So the first coat is on there. I'm just going to push the trigger to uh, blow some air with it, which helps drying it faster. So don't pull back because you're going to put on paint on there of course. So just pull it to release some air. Okay, so now the first coat is dried. We are going to put a second coat of the black primer. So now we are going to put on uh, the red as uh, yeah my primary paint. So let's take out the airbrush, which I clean, of course. I already have uh, shaken the red uh, thoroughly. So I'm going to put on the red and try to uh, create some highlights here and there. For the second coat we are going to use the red again and highlight uh, some more. So you see the upper part of the arm is much uh, bright a little bit brighter than uh, the upper part which yeah mostly captures all the shadows so the arm is uh, dry the red is dry and for the last coat we are going to put some uh, extra highlight from the top i'm going to use the same red with a little pinch of uh, orange and as you can see the um, ammo make paints have a little stirring ball in there so for this method, it's very important not to hold your airbrush close, but keep and spray it from a distance. So it's a very, very thin coat that you have to apply. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it, it's a very small detail, but it makes a huge difference. So the paint job on the arm is done. The airbrush had no problems even with very fine lines, fine surfaces. The airflow was uh, fluently, consistently every time. Overall, this airbrush performed very well. So there you have it guys. Uh, afterwards, the cleanup was a very uh, easy, quick, straightforward. You just remove this uh, handle. Untighten the screw so you can remove the needle, clean it, and within a minute you are ready to uh, continue your work. And as with all reviews, it's important to talk about the positives and the negatives. And to be honest, uh, for the time being, I haven't found a, a negative uh, point about this airbrush. The price is around 130 euros, which could be the only negative uh, thing that I uh, might find because it may be not be uh, accessible for everybody. But again, with good quality comes a price, of course. Overall, the performance is uh, really good. 
The manual comes in different uh, languages, which is always uh, handy, and it provides clearly how to use the airbrush. Uh, you have your parts overview, all the necessary information is in there. So that was uh, it for today. I hope you uh, liked this review, you learned something. Uh, maybe you might consider of uh, buying this. I will put a link in the description to their online store if you want to buy this airbrush. Personally, uh, it's very versatile, even for beginners or for experts, you might consider adding this one to your list. If you have any questions about this airbrush, please put your comments down below. I will be happy to answer them for you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, please do and don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss out on any new videos. So that was uh, it for today guys. Uh, thank you for watching um, and I will see you all in my next video. T-Rama Builders signing out. Bye everybody.